Good morning, well I guess good afternoon or evening wherever you are. Uh, I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Name is uh, Jim and uh, today it is November 22nd of 2016. It's uh, almost 7 a.m. and as you can see there, my blood sugar I just took was 134, a little bit high for in the morning, taking it before I have eaten anything, except I'm an old man, I wake up every couple hours, and sometimes I wake up and uh, eat something or maybe drink something and sort of forget about it, go back to bed. Well, yesterday I I got this router in. If you've been watching my videos, you know that uh, I had a good router here, a very good router, and some uh, good hardware. Uh, when my grandson last week, or maybe a little longer than last week, moved, I sent the router with him so he would have Wi-Fi, especially, well, uh, that so Hillary would have Wi-Fi so she can conduct her business and make money. So I didn't have a router, and if you've been watching my videos, you know that uh, I get, uh, well, let's see, me net speed. There we go. We pay for, uh, or now I pay for 100 megabytes down and five up. And as you can see, you know, we're getting over 100 down and we're getting almost six up. But when I gave the router away, I didn't have a router and had to jerry-rig things up here using a switch or whatever and so I was getting 30 uh, down still getting about five or six up and no Wi-Fi so with no Wi-Fi my Roku doesn't work because the, I think the Roku 3 I believe does have a wired jack you can use, but the others, the, the Roku TV and the Roku 2, you have to have Wi-Fi. So I, my Roku wasn't uh, wasn't working. So anyway, I ordered in this router, got it yesterday, one day delivery. With taxes and everything, came to about $100. I think it, Amazon shows it for, what, well, wait a minute, I can, I can show you that. Here it is, eighty-five ninety-five Prime free one day, free same day delivery. Uh, I got it. It it set up no problem at all. Here's the well. Let me first uh, has these three antennas and has three built in apparently. Now, the only thing I would kind of like to have more uh, jacks on the back here. Uh, so far. I'm using three of them. This computer's hooked in, wired. My computer, old computer in the other room is wired into it. And then a voice over IP box that I have goes into it and I've got one free. And of course that's where the blue there is where the cable comes out of the uh, cable modem. Uh, I tried for a little bit hooking up my printer and I guess I don't know how to network it properly. Tried going into USB, tried going in with my printer because it has a uh, Ethernet output on it. That didn't work so I, I may just go back to hooking that printer up USB into this computer but I'd like to have the uh, 
printer, you know, on the network. I've also got, uh, I think this is a 64, I've got a scan disk. I would like to uh, put some memory into one of the USB ports and have that available to, so that any of my computers could uh, use that data. Of course, I've got cloud connections with everybody. So many cloud connections that I don't even know where my stuff is or where I could put it or find it or anything. It's a mess. But uh, so let me shut this down. Oh, there. I don't think I showed you. There's the speed, or did I? That uh, I'm getting now. So. Here's the software for this, and they did a really good job on the software because they already put in some names. I changed the names, but they put in some names for the, uh, you can see where I changed it to Howard B244 and Howard B2435G. So I've, you know, Wi-Fi here, Wi-Fi on my Amazon tablet, which I never use. And then, of course, I had to, with each, with TV, which is no problem at all, uh, tell it to, and I'm using 2.46 gigabytes for that. And I'm using, uh, no, I'm using for the Wi-Fi, I'm using the 5 gigabyte. For my cell phone, I'm using the 2.4 gigabyte because you get a little better range. Uh, five gigabyte doesn't go through walls as well and uh, has a shorter range, shorter distance. So uh, here was a quick setup. I'm afraid to click on this. I'm going to give something away. Oh, well, anyway. Anyway, the software was really nice. Uh, what else did I want to tell you? Um, I'm straightening up this room, and this is going to be my bedroom that has a computer in it, but it's going to have it's my main computer, my new computer. I'd really like to have a kick-ass computer for doing when I do video, rendering video and that kind of stuff. I'd kind of like to have a kick-ass computer, but the other room I is going to be my computer room. I drug a big chair in there. I drug a TV in there. And uh, it's going to be my computer room or my YouTube studio or something. I'm not going to put my green screen up because I don't want to mess with having to do that. So I'm straightening this room up. I haven't, uh, I have not made a 4K video yet. This camera does 4K, the FZ300. Uh, so I want to do that. This room is starting, I'm starting to get stuff off the floor and out of here because I now have the extra room to put things. Uh, so in the other room on my old computer, I, uh, a couple days ago I had Ubuntu Studio on it, and then I think I put something else, I put something else on it, another uh, Ubuntu version. That can't remember. Then I formatted and I put Windows 10 on that computer, and then I installed uh, Zorin 12. That's a Linux. It's an Ubuntu version. Uh, Ubuntu Studio, which is nice, 
when you download it and install it, you can install a whole bunch of stuff by clicking that you want to install uh, audio you want to install, graphics you want to install, video, and, and it loads in all the programs for you. So it's for people that want to try to do productions, you know, uh, whatever. So I took that off and I put on, uh, now I have Windows 10 and I have Zorin 12. And Zorin is, like I said, it's a Ubuntu version, of course. And it's designed very well uh, for people who want to be more familiar, who want to be, you know, maybe, maybe you're using Windows Maybe you used Windows XP and you want to get away from Windows and you want to go, you know, uh, or maybe you use Apple and what, or Windows 10 or whatever. When you run it, you can decide, okay, I, I'm familiar, I've been using Windows 10. I want this to sort of look and work like Windows 10. And you'll, you'll be familiar with, you know, the bar and the menus and that type of stuff, so... And I've been using it now for, I used it in the past, you know, other older versions, and it really looks nice. Uh, I just wish I had a faster computer in there. Well, what I would like to have is a more powerful computer here, then I would move this computer in the other room. Now, the other room needs a lot of... Uh, I moved because I got a lot of stuff in there that I moved in there and I got to put it away and I still haven't straightened up the closet that's in there. There's still stuff in there from when my grandson was using the room. A whole bunch of books on computer languages, a whole bunch of books on Chinese language. and I found a uh, Theo or whatever. the Remember the thing that was a pocket device that became then became a their cell there came out with a cell phone uh, Russell just left a whole bunch of stuff in there and I need to sort that stuff out and organize the other room but just back I think today I'll have this room pretty quick this morning I'll have it straightened up and then I'll be uh, going in there and working in there uh I think that's it. I appreciate your watching these videos and I hope you get something out of them. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the best router for, I'll put a link to it. Not sure if this is the best router for you. Uh, I don't know what my next, I've got one of these uh, LG long monitors here. Thinking of getting a bigger one. Oh, my monitor in the other room is 22 inches. Um, also thinking of, this has been good for, for what I do, editing, moving stuff around, pasting or whatever for my blog and for YouTube, but I'm kind of thinking of going back to a one monitor, bigger, 27, what, what, you might, if you have a recommendation on monitor. Also, I'm thinking about uh, going to the Chrome, what are they, what is it? It's a uh, tablet and touch, you know, touch screen. You flip it back and it, uh, so I don't know. Then on the other hand, I'm thinking awful lot of stuff I do is Android. I, I really like Andro Android. Um, whoops. This is one of those apps that uh, shows you your, it's so bright. 
uh, you can see your signal strength of your connections and uh, see if you can see this okay nope 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 maybe there we go still too bright too bright um, So I might make a recommend. I sure like the NVIDIA that I uh, sold to my son for $200, K1 or whatever. That is because it's also rugged. That is a nice tablet, Android. What I'm seeing is uh, some Chinese that uh, are what... Uh, Android and is it Windows? Switch, whatever, so I don't know. Not sure. Not sure I need it. I do think I need a tablet, actually. I don't know. Thank you very much for watching. Okay. Stop.